If you're thinking about moving to Portland, Oregon, and Lake Oswego is high up on your list, you're gonna wanna check out this video. Today, we're going over the top three neighborhoods right here in Lake Oswego. So if you're considering a move here, you're gonna wanna check out this video. Hey everybody, my name is Aaron Cullen. I'm a local real estate agent right here in Lake Oswego. So if you're considering a move to Lake Oswego, shoot me a text, send me an email, give me a phone call. I'd love to help you make a smooth move right here to Lake Oswego. All right, let's get right into it. I'm in Free Ponds Park. This is in Hallinan. This is a great local park. It's sprinkling a little bit right now, so I don't know if you can tell, but don't even have my hood up. Maybe if it starts coming down a little bit more, I'll pull it up. You just gotta get out here and do it. It's early January. It was bright and sunny out and about 30 minutes ago. It started getting overcast. Just got a little bit of drizzle here kind of coming through. But this park is awesome. The Helen Ann Elementary School is just down the street. And this is a great local little park. You can also reserve it and do little functions or do like a movie night. One of the things I love about this neighborhood of Helen Ann, it's very walkable, not only in the neighborhood and it has sidewalks, but you're also very close to all the shops, which are just right over that way. It's getting the nickname second edition. First edition, which is also on my list of top three neighborhoods, is the main neighborhood that's right in downtown Lake Oswego. It's 100% walkability score. I mean, everything's right there. You have a grocery store, you have coffee shops, you have restaurants, parks. I mean, it's all right there in the heart, the center of downtown Lake Oswego. But it's also the most expensive area of Lake Oswego because it's very walkable. It's also very flat. So it's a great neighborhood for trick-or-treating, kids getting out, walking around. But it is more expensive. So that price range is gonna be in that like million dollar range and up from there. But the most price friendly neighborhood is right here in Hallinan. Hallinan has a very diversified housing stock here. So the price ranges can go anywhere from that 600, low 700s, if you're just looking for an older 3-2 type of home, on up to new builds that they're doing, infill lots where they'll knock down an old home and then build a brand new home, they call the infill. Those can be anywhere from the million and a half to two and a half million dollar range, if you're looking for something like that. So you have those available and they have three twos, four threes, four twos, in those older homes. And I say older, but they have everything from kind of post-World War II ranches on up through 70s, 80s, 90s. But I really like this neighborhood of Hallinan because you're in Lake Oswego, you have the amazing schools. It's very walkable. You're really close to downtown. The 43 is right next to Hallinan. So it's really easy to get in and out. And the neighborhood really does have a real community feel to it. You're gonna to get to know your neighbors, you're gonna to get to be involved if that's something you're interested in. And they have great parks all walking distance to the neighborhood. Now, the next neighborhood we're gonna talk about is First Edition, which I just mentioned. You know, if you want that 100% walkability, I mean, you're right there in the center of downtown Lake Oswego. So if you want that feeling of being able to wake up in the morning and you don't wanna make coffee at home, you wanna get coffee at the local coffee shop, that's probably the neighborhood you're gonna to wanna to be in if you don't wanna walk more than you know, three, four, five minutes to get a cup of coffee, go to the local restaurants, things like that. You are gonna pay for it in the price. The price range really starts at around a million dollars right now in that neighborhood and kinda of goes up from there depending on what size of home you want. There are a lot of infill projects in there. They kinda of come up and then they're usually sold within a few months. So if that's something you're looking for, definitely reach out to me and we can kind of plan ahead for something like that. I've done several other videos where I highlight first edition and this one I'm just going to kind of touch lightly on the main things, which I've already mentioned. It's the walkability. It's your close to the downtown shops. Again, you're in Lake Oswego, so the schools here are going to be amazing. No matter what neighborhood you pick in Lake Oswego, you're going to have amazing schools. So I get a lot of people that reach out and they're wanting to know, hey, which neighborhood should I be in so I can be in the best elementary school or which high school is the better one? Honestly, they're all very, very, very good. Uh, the ratings do kind of vary a little bit in there, but the school district overall is like an A plus. It's the highest rated school district in the state of Oregon. 
So you can't go wrong with any of the schools. I wouldn't necessarily let that limit you. I would kind of more go for, hey, what kind of living experience do you want to have? Is it more important to have sidewalks? Do you want views? Do you need a lake easement? Do you want to be walking distance to coffee shops and things like that? Do, are you open to a townhouse or condo? Or do you want that single family house that has a little bit of a yard? Do you plan on having animals? I would, I think personally, all those factors are a little bit more important than necessarily exactly which elementary school you go to, unless you already have connections here or friends and you want to be able to be in that certain have your kids go to that certain school then absolutely totally understand that but in general they're all really really good and highly rated the city of lake oswego has passed a series of school bonds and so they're about halfway through they're basically rebuilding all of the schools here in lake oswego or doing additions to them or revamping them. Part of that was making sure that they were up to current standards of being earthquake proof. So it's money well spent. They're about halfway through that process. So a lot of the schools are brand new or have already been revamped. So the community does really, really value the schools here. And that is one of the top reasons people move to Lake Oswego. If you're wanting that more suburban feel, without that cookie cutter suburban feel. And you're very close to downtown Portland. You're about a 20 minute, 15, 20 minute drive, depending on where you are in Lake Oswego, to downtown Portland, which is just amazing. My book, that was one of the reasons that attracted us to this area. Great schools, very close to downtown. So you can still feel like you're a part of Portland and be able to take advantage of all the cool and trendy shops that are all around uh, the downtown area. Neighborhood number three we're gonna go over today is Westridge. Now, I live right on the border of Palisades and Westridge myself. I love this neighborhood. I go walking through there all the time. Westridge has an elementary school in there called Westridge Elementary School. And it also has a little park with a field that butts up right next to it. There's about 300 homes in the neighborhood of Westridge. It's one of my favorite neighborhoods of Lake Oswego. And the reasons for that are number one, walkability. And I mean walkability in the neighborhood. There's sidewalks throughout that whole neighborhood. All the homes are really nice and well taken care of. Everyone in that community is very friendly. I go walking through there all the time. Everyone always waves. Everyone's out walking their dogs, going for a little jog. And I really like the homes in this neighborhood. All the homes in this neighborhood are pretty much gonna be starting at around a million dollars and up. Houses in that neighborhood, most of them have been built in the 80s and 90s in this neighborhood. You will see some in the 2000s. But I really like this neighborhood because you're not getting a lot of through traffic in here. If someone's driving through this neighborhood, they live in this neighborhood, they're going to one of the homes. There's really no through traffic, no reason to go through this neighborhood. All the main streets, the main arteries go right around this neighborhood. And I love it also for the sidewalks. So it's quiet, there's sidewalks, the lots tend to be bigger in this neighborhood as well. So if you're in that price range of say, you know, 1 million, 1.3 million, I would definitely, definitely consider Westridge. And as far as the elementary school ratings go, Westridge actually is the highest rated. It's a 10, but again, I wouldn't put too much weight on that. Definitely look at all the neighborhoods in Lake, Lake Oswego. But if you're one of those people that want the highest rating for elementary schools, I would definitely consider the neighborhood of Westridge because it is the highest rated uh, elementary school in Lake Oswego. So you can see, I'm just walking down one of the streets here in Hallinan. So you get a wide variety of homes Everybody does a great job at taking care of their homes, home maintenance, lawns. You have a real mix here of the homes. Like I was saying earlier, price range can be anywhere from high sixes on up towards the over a million dollars. But the average price in here really is in that like $800,000 range in Hallen Ann. So if you're looking for a home that's more in that price range, something maybe that you can put a little bit of elbow grease into, 
that might be a little outdated cosmetically and you can kind of make it what you want, this could be a great neighborhood for you, especially if you want to be walking distance to all the Lake Oswego shops and everything like that and you're really close to the 43. The number one neighborhood on my list today of the top three neighborhoods in Lake Oswego is Howland Inn. Definitely check it out. If it's something you're interested in, reach out. Again, my name's Aaron Cullen. Shoot me a text, send me an email, or give me a call. I'd love to help you make a smooth transition right here to Portland, Oregon. Oh, hey, and if you guys found this video helpful, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified next time I put out a video so you can keep up to date on the neighborhoods and the market updates of the Portland metro area. All right, guys, see you on the next one.